Hey, what's going on, Roxana? How are you today? Hello, hello, Roxana. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks. How are you today? Uh, I'm pretty good, thanks. How was your day? It was great. It was a typical day. What did you do? Uh, I do many did many things in my house, mm -hmm. and I spent time. I, I go to the gym. I went and I I went to the gym and I did aerobics. Oh, nice! And I and I walk walked with my dog. Really? For thirty minutes. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I did something similar. I lifted weights. Uh, I did squats. Uh, squat. What is it's squats? Uh, squats. It's, it's squats. Squats. You spell it like this. S Q U A T S. Squats. Oh, squats. Squats. What is the meaning? Um, you put uh, on your shoulders, you put a bar. Oh. On, on the bar, you put plates or discs. Yeah. And then you lower your legs like if you are going to sit down. But you don't sit down. Yeah, you... it's an exercise for your uh, gluteus and in, and your muscles. Your yeah, that's right. For your yes. quadriceps, what gluteus, gluteus, maximus, gluteus. hamstrings, um, abdominals, everything, shoulders, uh, everything, squat. Cool. Squats really exercise every single um, part of your body, you know, because first you have to stabilize the weight. Mm -hmm. So that's only uh, abdominal muscles. Okay. Then you have to control the weight. That's shoulders, back arms but it, it's not uh it is bad for your uh articulation what is the meaning no what is the meaning articulation uh join your joints joints uh, knee join join knee Knees. Knees. Um, well, I it, think it depends. Uh, in my case, I only do 200 pounds. Uh, so 200, 200. 200 pounds. Uh, so for me, 200 pounds is not a lot of weight for oh. my body, you know, cause I'm big, I'm a big boy. And how many, how many uh, squats do you do? With 200 pounds, I can do seven. Oh, seven? Seven. Oh. Mm -hmm. Seven. Cool. Yeah, it's good. For me, it's good weight. Um, I don't feel the necessity to do more. I ask because many people do many squats uh -huh. and it's not good for your joints, I think. Well, that's the reason why you have to drink uh, supplements. Oh. Uh, uh -huh. For example, you can drink uh, glucomine. Do you know what is glucomine? 
Yes. What is glucomine? Uh, glucosamine. Glucosamine. A... Uh, do you know why glucomine is good? Um, you, you, because it's for to um, fortalecer. I, I don't, I don't remember the, the, uh, the verb. Reinforce. Uh, your cartilagos. To reinforce your joints. But your cartilagos in specific. You could say cartilage. 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 Reinforce your cartilage. Cartilage. Car cartilage. Cartilage. Uh -huh. Cartilage. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Do you drink any type of supplements or any type of protein? No, only I try to eat gelatina. Uh, ah, jello. 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 Yeah. Oh, jello is good for your cartilage? Yeah. Really? But without sugar. Oh, jello with no sugar. Without sugar. Oh, I need to give me some of that. I need to drink, eat some jello. Right now, I am drinking tea. You can you can buy on the supermarket. What? Without sugar. Jello. Yeah. Do, do you drink tea? Yes. Do you I like, like to drink? Camomilla and black tea and green tea. This is green tea. I like black tea with with milk. Black tea with milk. Yeah. That sounds pretty interesting. Talk to me about that. What is that? Yeah, because in England they drink tea with. I don't remember, or or in American. I don't, I'm not sure if in England or an American, but in in one of the of them, they drink tea, black tea with with milk. Wow! And it's cool. I like. Wow, that's something new to me. Marvin, have you ever tried black tea with milk? Marvin, are you there? Can you hear me? Okay, maybe Marvin is having technical issues with the audio. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, and do you drink protein supplements? No, I, I don't drink. I don't like it. I prefer to eat uh, vegetables and... A egg, fry egg, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and and chicken and fish, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but okay. not supplement because okay. I I don't I don't do exercise a lot mm -hmm. only for and I I don't. Uh, how do you say levantar pesas? Lift weight. Lift weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? I like to to do exercise in a funny way when I <laughs> dance. Aerobic. Uh, I I do aerobics uh, with uh -huh. with music. Ah, uh, in a fun way in a fun way yeah in a fun way and for me uh, to lift weight is boring boring <laughs> boring. boring boring yeah boring boring <laughs> okay but okay it's good for your for uh -huh. your body but uh -huh. yeah. i don't like it I I enjoy both. Uh, sometimes I go 
to Parque Cuscatlan. Uh, and there on Monday, Wednesday, and no, no, sorry, sorry. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, they have aerobics classes. You pay one dollar, but oh, it's cheap. Uh, it's cheap, and uh, it's big, you know, it's a big auditorium. It's a lot of people. It's very, very cool. I go there sometimes. Hey, uh huh. Or sometimes I go to another park called Parque Satellite. And there also they have aerobics class. So, you know, sometimes I do aerobics, sometimes I play basketball. Sometimes I go jogging. Sometimes I lift weight. Mm -hmm. It depends and, how I feel. Mm -hmm. uh, many years ago, I did exercise like you, but now it's not possible for me. <laughs> Why? I am in my 40s. 40s? Uh, almost 50. Almost 50? How old are you? 49. Oh, 49. Wow. But many years ago, I go to the the gym. I, I, I went to the went. gym. Uh -huh. Yeah, I went to the gym and I went to the pool mm -hmm. and I and I I practiced jogging. Okay. And but now it's not possible. <laughs> okay, okay. Well my body for my body is not. Uh, okay okay yeah i can't that's okay that's okay hello ivania how are you hello teacher how are you very good very good welcome back okay guys we're gonna go ahead and move forward in yesterday's class we finished exercise 4.9 reading exercise talking about sleep to sleep or not to sleep what is that is the question do you have any questions related to this activity vocabulary pronunciation something like that from this exercise? Okay, so today we are going to do the final exam. Ta 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 ta, ta 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 ta, the final exam. Now, for this activity, what you are going to do is listen to a conversation between two tourists. Then you're going to check true or false. So you're going to listen to the audio. After that, you are going to identify if the answer is true or false and the questions that you're going to be looking at are thomas arrived in chile yesterday true or false kathy is going to travel in chile for a month true or false no one visits patagonia in january or february true or false Thomas goes to Torre del Pain National Park every three years, true or false. Then you're going to listen to two more friends. The woman goes to bed. The woman drinks mm after dinner. The woman normally exercises. The man says you shouldn't exercise. You will have five minutes to listen to the audio and identify 
if it is true or false, and then we are going to check together. At this moment, does anybody have a question related to this activity? No teacher is clear. Okay, please work in pairs and then we will check as a class. Okay. Thank you. Hello, Anna. How are you? Hello, Anna. Hi, hello, sorry. How are you? Fine. I'm fine. Do you have the exercise? Sorry? Do you have the exercise? I don't have my computer. Yes, yeah, but I can share the platform for real. How I use my cell phone to have okay. Me too. But I have finished. Me too. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can share. So you can share the, the answers one by one. Okay, let me see. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number one. Some arrived in the village yesterday. The answer is true, false, sorry. It's the first one, Thomas. Yes. Mm -hmm. False. False, yes. Uh -huh. Katie Edward. is going to travel in Chile for a month. True. Number two. No one, no one visits Patagonia in January or February. False. Mm -hmm. Thomas go to Torre del Paine National Park every three years. False. Part number two. Number one. The woman goes to bed after the 11 o'clock news. Yes. The woman drinks tea after dinner. Yes. The woman normally exercises during the 11 o'clock news. Yes. The man says you shouldn't exercise real right before you go to bed. Okay, we are we have all. Okay. Very good. Hello, Hello, good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Do you have the answer? Yes, I, ha I already have the answer.
can we with bring the time there for maybe Oh my goodness. All right, let's look at the first one. The first one says, Thomas arrived in Chile yesterday. True or false? False. False. Kathy is going to travel to Chile for a month. True or false? True. 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 No one visits 
Patagonia in January or February? True or false? False. False. Thomas goes to Torre del Paine National Park every three years. True or false? False. False. Part two. The woman goes to bed. After the 11 o'clock news. After yeah. the 11 o'clock news. Bad. Don't do that. The woman drinks mm, after dinner. Tea. 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 The, nor the woman <laughs> normally exercises. During the 11 o'clock news. During the 11 o'clock news. The man says you shouldn't exercise. Right before right you before go to you bed. Go to bed. Correct, because of the hormones. Excellent. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Any questions related to this activity? No questions. Uh, do you have questions related to vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, anything like that? And how do you pronounce Patagonia is a pro proper name. You say Patagonia. Patagonia. No, Patagonia. Patagonia. Oh. Patagonia. No, Patagonia. Patagonia. Okay. It's a softer T. Pata, pata. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think and because it's a proper name, I think you pronounce Patagonia. Uh, well, remember, is... if, uh -huh, if it's a proper noun, uh, depending on your accent, you can pronounce it uh, differently. Okay. Uh -huh. Another question related to this section. Okay. Let's move forward and we are going to do the grammar, combining sentences, instruction. Combine the sentences using defining and non-defining relative clauses. Remember to use capital letters and periods. So you're going to join the sentences, for example, Bulgaria is a small country. Bulgaria is cheap to travel in by bus. So here you are going to write the sentence using the non-defining or the defining relative clause. You will have five minutes and then we will check together. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Let's do this. Let's do this. No. I. Okay. <laughs> What is the exercise? Uh, let me see. I have headaches, sorry. Okay. No puedo abrir la pantallita de su. Really? I don't know why. I can share the screen with you. Okay. But what is the exercise? It's the... Thank you. 
ya me cerró todo. Really? I don't know why. I don't know. Ahorita. Sí, leo sí. Oh. Ah. Ahorita. Ok. ¿Ya? Yeah. Yes. Number one. Bulgaria. A small country um, uh, that is cheap to travel in by bus. I think I I have the 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 question about in by bus. I don't know is it correct in by, by bus, bus or only by bus? In by bus. Why? In, in by bus. bus in my bus. I don't know why. Anna, um, do you know is in by bus is correct? I think it's incorrect. Really? I yes, I think that too. Bulgaria is I, cheaper I think it's by, bus. by bus. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. By bus. Okay, but it's the platform. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Number two. Number two. Florence is easy to navigate on foot. Florence is a small city. Yeah. Florence is a small city that is easy to navigate on foot. Yes, on foot. Number three, Anna. Wait, I didn't do this exercise. Ah, okay. Okay, we can do with with you. Okay. Uh, wait, I'm, I'm writing the, the two. The second one? Okay. Uh -huh, the second one. Uh, my hometown gets crowded in summer. My home time. My hometown, which is crowded in summer, is a popular tourist destination. No, is a, a is a popular tourist destination. Is the close. Mm -hmm. My home the, the main clause is get crowded in summer. The main class. So my hometown, which is with, a popular tourist yes, yes, is crowded on summer. Yes. Gets crowded in summer. Gets crowded in Gets summer. Crowded in summer. <laughs> okay, number four says Istanbul has great shopping. Istanbul is the home of the Grand Bazaar. Istanbul, which has great shopping, is the home of the Grand Bazaar. Is it correct? Yes, right? Istanbul will have great shopping. Shopping is the home of the house. Yeah. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> I will miss it, that. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, uh, read the sentences, choose the correct order of modifiers. Okay. Okay, you, I, number one. I enjoy vacationing. How do you say that? I don't know, it's correct, vacationing. Uh, vacationing in Costa Lovely Town. Lovely Costa Town. 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 Town, yes. Town. Okay, number two. Most intimidate me. Big with escapers city. And is most big cities with skyscrapers mm -hmm. intimate me. I like to retire in a quite mountain village. Yes. I always love college towns. Towns little. Yes. Little college town. Yes. Mm -hmm. And number five, when I travel, I try to avoid visiting expensive places. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the correct answer. Yes. Um, Anna. Hola. Hi. Uh, do you have the the email from Inglés Corporativo. I will share with you. Which one? Uh, Mirna says that Inglés Corporativo sent a email for the next yes, model. No, I, I got I one that they don't have in uh, the becas, the scholarship. Okay. Uh -huh, that they, we are I don't to... have I don't have <laughs> anyone. I don't uh -huh. have anyone. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know, but yesterday they said that they don't have enough, they don't have the scholarship and we are going, going to stop for a few weeks. <laughs> okay. Okay. I received the email, but there is no day to start. In. Hmm? Uh, recibí el correo pero no hay fecha de inicio uh, no I don't, no, I, I don't I don't know why but I don't have any email from ahorita uh, right now share with you okay All right, all right. Let me have the first one. Number one, please, for me, Zulma. Um, give me a second. Number one, well, Bulgaria is a small country that is cheap to travel in by boat. Very good. Bulgaria is a small country that is cheap to travel in by bus. Excellent. The next one, Anna. Roxana, number two. 
Okay, teacher. To read mine. Well, okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh -huh. Florence is a small city. Small city that is easy to navigate on foot. Florence is easy to navigate on foot. Florence is a small city. That is, is okay. Florence is a small city. Yeah, that is easy to navigate on foot. Navigate on foot. Okay. Thank you. Hey. The A oh. is missing in navigate. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There it is. Navigate. Okay. Thank you. All right. Anna, number three. My hometown, which is a popular tourist destination, gets crowded in summer. Gets crowded in summer. Okay, thank you. The next one, number four, Roxana. Okay, teacher. Istanbul, which has great shopping. Is the home of the Grand Bazaar. Thank you. Excellent. With, with commas, teacher. Of course. Yeah. I think I forgot to put the comma here. Let me see. Which is before which and a popular tourist destination. Before. Okay, here it is. Florence is a mall city that, okay, we got that. Bulgaria is a small country that, okay, there it is. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next one, please, for me, Ivania, number one. Uh, I enjoy vacationing in lovely coastal town. Lovely coastal town. Thank you. Number two, Marvin. Mirna. Most big series with a sky trip trippers in Medellin. Excellent. The next one, Zulma, number Three. The answer With, is Quiet Mountain Village. Quiet Mountain Village. Excellent. Number four. Number four, please. Anna. Number four. Wait. Number four. Four, 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 four. I've always loved little college towns. Little college towns. Perfect. And number five, please, Roxana. Okay, teacher. When I travel, I try to avoid visiting expensive places. Excellent. Okay. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> There they are. Bulgaria is a small country that is cheap to travel in by bus. Florence is a small city that is easy to navigate on foot. My hometown, which is a popular tourist destination, gets crowded in the summer. Istanbul, which has great shopping. 
is the home of the Grand Bazaar. Perfect. All right. Let's look at section C. I want to finish the final. They were wrong. Yeah, but first yeah, but these are the correct answers. I just read them to you. Uh, mm, yeah, it okay. doesn't affect my platform. That's okay. I really don't. It doesn't matter for me. What I matter mm -hmm. is that you understand the answer. Okay. This is the okay. answer. Yeah. This the platform doesn't affect me because I have the teacher's uh, edition, so it doesn't affect me at all. I, what I want is that you understand the answer because of the time I need to move forward. I want to finish everything before we finish today. Let's look at uh, section C, complete the sentences, read the sentence, then complete the sentences with the following words. Just add the word in no need of capital letters or periods. For example, my city has great, mm, you can buy anything you want. Cost of living, green spaces, nightlife, climate, shopping, transportation system. So here you are going to write the word. My city has great, mm, you can buy anything you want. What is it? What do you think is shopping. the answer? Obviously, shopping. shopping, because she says buying, buy, right? So the logical answer is shopping. Okay. All right. You have five minutes. Let's... Teacher. Yes. I have a problem in my group because Marvin is traveling in, in, at the moment and he's tra in the traffic called Los Chorros. He okay. Said, Okay, so I'm going to put Zulma with you. Okay, yes, thanks. So, uh, last time I was alone. Ah, okay. I will put you with Anna. Thank you. Yes. Read it to me. Press press the, the bottom to most most respuesta, right? Um, because you... Anna uh I saw answer. Okay. Yeah. Share your answer. But the Anna the, the, can uh, have uh, the Ah, uh, pero me le voy a tomar foto mejor más rápido. Yeah. Yes, me quedo analizando. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> In Istanbul, I can see Istanbul. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Let's do this first. I have a lot of mistakes in this part. <laughs> really? Okay, don't worry. Okay. Okay, the first one is the number one. My city, My city has, has, has great shopping. shopping. You can buy you can anything, buy anything you, want. you want. Yes. Okay. Number two. Janai life is fun. There are a lot of clubs and shows. Okay. All yes. year round, there is comfortable climate. Climate, yeah. yes. If you have a dog, you need to live in a city that has a lot of green spaces. Okay. It's too expensive for me to live in a place that has a high cost of living. Yes. It's easier to get around in a city that has an efficient system. 
Yes. Yes, I think there is a there is a mistake because uh, the exercise says transportation system. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Part two. Part two. Yes. Meditating before I turn in at night helps me to fall asleep more easily. Drop, drop off. Drop. Sleep over? No. Turn in. Turn in. Store. I'm sorry. Yeah, mm -hmm. store in. After all the ex I don't know how do you say excitement. Excitement, yeah. I excitement. think it's excitement. Of, of the fire alarm is what hard for me to sleep over. No. 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 To calm and down. down. Okay. Excitement is excitement. Excitement. Uh -huh. Excitement. Excitement, okay. Mm -hmm. Then I find that going to, a to the gym during my lunch hour helps me to perk up at work. Yeah. Okay. As grandma lives so far away, she'll uh, sleep over mm -hmm. at our house tonight and go home tomorrow. Yes. Sleep over. Be careful when driving late at night to my Bar out. No. Drop off. Drop off. Mm -hmm. Okay. The uh, in this exercise, I think the most important is um, to know the the meaning of the the phrase, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because drop off is like. Eh, quedarse dormido. Ajá. So, I, I have me stay in the number two. Is the, is the, the, la, uh, la, ah, no, how, yes. How do you say in English? How? Yes, it's pretty. How do you say pleca? Which pleca? I don't know. What pleca? No. No, how do you say pleca in English? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot. Yes, yeah, so I don't know. So we have the correct answer. Good. You finished the platform? Yes, I finished. Ah, okay. Yes.
Percent. And you? And your pro my progress is ninety eight percent. Ninety eight. Yes. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because it's there is not hunger fight, right? No, but um. All right, Mirna. Hello, teacher. Is everybody finished? Yes. Okay, number two. Uh, read number two, Mirna. All right, now, waiting, waiting. Call dumb after all the excitement of the fire alarm. It, uh, the number two, wait. <laughs> huh? The nightlife is fun. There are a lot of clubs and shows. Very good. Nightlife. Okay. Thank you. Number three, Ivania. Uh, number three is, is all year around there is a comfortable climate. 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 Okay. Very good. Climate. Anna. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Anna, number four. If you have a dog, you need to live in a city that has a lot of green spaces. Green spaces. Very good. Number five, please, Roxana. Okay, teacher. Number five, it's too expensive for me to live in a Play in a place that has a high cost of living. High cost of living. Yeah. Thank you. Zulma, number six. It is it, easier to get around in a city that has an efficient transportation system. Trans Transportation system. Perfect. All right, the next one. Meditating before I turn in. Turn in. Huh? Turn, turn in. Turn in at night. Very good. Turn in. Number two, after all the excitement of the fire alarm. It was hard for me to calm down. Calm, down. Down. calm down. I find that going to the gym during my lunch hour helps me to perk up. Perk up. Perk up. Me too. In the afternoon, when I feel a little sleepy, I do a little workout and then I feel better. Number four, a grammar. Grandma lives so as grandma lives so far away, she'll sleep over, over at our house tonight and go home tomorrow. Sleep over, very good. Number five, be careful when driving late at night, you might drop oh, off oh. and get get into an, ac an accident. Mm. Are you sure it's drop off? Yeah. Yes. You might drop off. Hmm. I don't know. Be careful when driving late at night. You might drop off and get into an accident. Uh, this one doesn't really make sense. Drop off. Uh, maybe if you say doze off, right? Quedarte dormido. Doze off. Maybe that's more, that's more, I don't know. I don't know, but I, I would rather use this one. Tal vez te queda dormido. You might doze off and get into an accident. It has more sense than drop off. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Number six. It's hard yes. to burn out. 
Okay, when you're it's working, hot, take not, up not to burn out. Uh huh, burn out. You know, that's a, a lot of people ask me, eh, Ruben, eh, why do you work so much? You know, why, why do you do this? Why do you do that? Why do you have this and that? And a lot of people ask me these things, right? And they ask me, you don't burn out? Do you mm. know what is the meaning of burnout? Yes. Burned out. Who can tell me the meaning of the phrase burnout? Quemado. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Consumirse. That's right. That's right. And, you know, honestly, eh, I think that when I do something that I enjoy, something that I like, I don't feel like I, I get burned out. You know, because a lot of people, they, they, they feel a lot of stress. They feel a lot of burnout because they do something they don't like. They do it because they have to, you know, it's the obligation. They don't have a choice. In my case, I don't feel that that's my situation, you know. I feel that I, I do what I like to do. And I, and I feel thankful to God that he gives me the opportunities to do what I like to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, guys, I, I, I was listening and I heard that you guys had questions referring to the next classes. Yes, and we are uh, and we are going to have class class tomorrow. And yes. It's the last class. Yeah, it's, we are going to finish tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be the last class. It was supposed to be today, but because do you remember before the vacation I didn't give the class on Friday? No. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. And everybody's yeah. like, e Mr. Santos, e Mr. Santos. And nobody can find Mr. Santos. It's because I didn't know. You know, it was my birthday. That week was my birthday. So I didn't have plans. I, you know, I had plans to celebrate my birthday. So that day, I, I didn't know. I, I received the email, but I didn't read it. I didn't pay attention. So tomorrow, we have to make okay. up that class. No. Sorry, guys. It's Only my fault. Only you can because Sorry. what? Sorry, guys. It's, I forgive you. It's my fault. Hey, it was my birthday. It was my birthday. Tomorrow? And, no, it, that week. Ah, oh, the last, the last Friday. The Friday before the vacation. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So we have to make up that day tomorrow, and then that will be the last day. So. Oh. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Bye. Good, Bye. Good, 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 good night, everybody. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.